welcome. I was originally planning on just seeing how fast I could throw Earth at another Earth. Like, seeing the limits on how fast things can go, because from the last video I saw that we could go faster than the speed of light. But I'm going to have to save that for the next video, because we have Alpha 14 now. And it's apparently fixing bugs, total fragmentation... Maybe that fixes the thing I did with light speed. <laughs> um, improved in performance on slower machines. So if you guys have slower computers, you can now enjoy this. Let's see if the sun is still. The sun isn't lagging anymore. Oh my god, that's that makes me happy because zooming into the sun, it used to be like, yeah, let's see if they still have that thing where the lines. Oops, sorry about that. Um, so, we have non laggy sun. The lines don't seem to be really as bad as before. Um, but that's all cool. I mean, any performance updates, go ahead. Performance is always good. They said they re enabled explosions. So we'll check that out. So if we... Um, I don't see explode. I'll be honest. Um... Yeah, I do not see the explode button. Uh, let's see. Runs better performance, further improvements to UI. We could hide that before, though, I'm pretty sure. Um, we have... Re-enabled Exploder Tool. Well, I didn't see that, but that's okay. So, if they redid Fragmentation... Let's test that, um... So, I'm assuming by that it means fragments when shooting things at each other, because... it's what fragments are. Okay, so let's just shoot something... At the Earth. Let's do the Moon, because the Moon... Good side. There's going to be plenty of fragmentation from that. Sorry about that dog barking. Um, if you can hear that. So let's see. This is... I'm interested. I love updates to this game. They always do something cool, make it faster, and they're always well placed, like Minecraft updates. You can tell that they're really trying to get this game. Ooh. No lag. And yes, fragments have changed. And they aren't lagging. They're colliding back. So, I guess that's the rewritten fragments, if you guys were interested in that. It's pretty interesting. By them changing the collision, Stuff and fragmentation. Um, I mean, optimization is very important because I understand a lot of people don't have these huge, including me, I don't even have a dedicated graphics card. This is a very well optimized game, considering I can play at full settings with integrated graphics. Um, that's. Minecraft runs worse than this, and this is, like I said on my review, this is a pretty darn beautiful game. Its resolution is high, it's got all the effects. Everything you'd expect from a uh, very good... Well, it's really in its beta phases. It, this is too good to be an alpha game. At least in my opinion. I mean, uh, this is one good alpha game. <laughs> it's pretty rare for you to get an alpha game that's basically a full game. So, let's just keep looking at this new fragmentation stuff. Let's just bombard Mercury with my misses. So, I was thinking today about the whole, um, last time going faster than light. And the funny thing is, because 
science happens and, you know, Albert Einstein, all those important people who figured these things out, if that was really in real life going faster than light, theoretically it would have went back in time, which is kind of weird. That That's weird to think about. All I have to do to go back in time is go really fast. Sanic has, uh... <sighs> He's very lucky. He can he can probably go back in time if he ran fast enough. Even though I find the Sanic thing annoying. Kind of ruins Sonic's good name. But that's okay. So yeah, this fragment thing doesn't seem to lag really anymore. Even though there are tons of fragments. Wait, did they go away? I think the fragments actually went away over time. That's good. I like that. Some people may not like that, but I find that necessary because when you're dealing with huge collisions, you you really don't want tons of fragments everywhere. Actually, on my last video, kind of like a gun, I showed <laughs> just kind of how bad fragments got with the lag because um I was using them to create a gun-like thing where I was shooting fragments out and my game crashed. Um, you can still do that probably. Let's let's try. So we do this. Slow down the time step. We we'll see if this lags like it did last time. We just press four a bunch of times, and all of these moons will just collide, and they will create a ton of fragments. Actually, I don't see any fragments. Yeah, I guess it's not possible anymore. I'll consider it a good thing because it's optimizing, but my old gun trick is gone now. So before, when I shot the Earth at the sun, I made a few miss... I, I said some things wrong and stuff, but... <laughs> it's always funny looking back at your videos and then realizing that, oops, didn't mean that. But... Um, I, I don't think I ever said Neutron Star. I was worried that I said Neutron Star, because Neutron Star would be very small. Very, very small. And that, uh, star that resulted was, um, still very large. Very large. If we check, it was, yeah, larger than Earth, so... Pretty sure neutron stars have to be tiny. To the point where, well, the neutrons are the ones doing the stuff. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, Alpha 14. This amazing game is getting so far. Um. Ooh. Mars Climate. Oh. Climate. Enable climate. Bam. Open a graph of surface pressure. You may want to set a longer time span, 10 years or so. Okay, 10. 10 years. I'm just checking this out because I'm honestly wondering. Oh. So... I don't really know what's supposed to happen here. I guess it's just showing that Mars climate works and stuff. Which is pretty cool, actually. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for, um... Thanks for, uh, watching. And this wasn't really the... A giant update. I was like, whoa, maybe they added a ton of stuff, but they didn't. But I understand optimization is very important. And, you know, sometimes you gotta just shoot a sun at something. Which is what I'm gonna do to end this. Bye, Mars. Okay. Thank you and goodbye.